morning YouTube. Um, I've been away for a while so I thought I'd come back and give, keep, uh, give you guys an update. So it's late spring here and um, I just wanted to show you what's gone on and what's going on and um, yeah so we'll have a little walk around the garden and see what's happening. So I thought I'd just show you what um, my um, hydrangeas got burnt that is not frost damage that is burned damage on the new leaves because we had a freakish hot weekend um, about ooh, a week or so ago and um, a lot of the new growth that were coming on the plants wasn't expecting it to be so hot it was in the 30s and um, it burnt it but you can see the it's coming back so that's good so the wisteria is just going over now. That's put on a fantastic show. Um, but yeah, it's just finishing up. And you can see that's got burnt a little bit as well. All the new leaves. And up above, these four big pines and that big tree in the middle there are coming out today. So I'm really happy about that. So they're the last ones to come out that's close to the house. And um, yeah, that'll be the job done, thank goodness. So let's have a little walk around. I'll try and go slow because it's a bit jerky. I don't know why. So everything's looking great. Um, fresh and clean. The roses are coming into their own now. Because um, last year the roses was, wasn't very good at all. Um, but as you can see, just got some beautiful ones coming there. And the irises are looking great. The pond's looking great. <laughs> oh, the birds have been here, look digging out so yeah so all my uh, lilies are coming up look at this great big patch of irises they're beautiful they look gorgeous and the fish are up waiting for uh, their breakfast it's getting it's quite getting overgrown in the pond really I probably need to get in and sort it out cut the grass yesterday so the grass is looking great and it's all nice and fresh because we had a massive downpour last night so and you can see these roses are coming on all in bud it looks I love it when it's had like a really big downpour and coming out early in the morning because everything looks all refreshed and washed and clean it's great that one's just going over that was my first flowering one so I've got this giant lily coming on here. So each year he grows another leaf. So he's got three leaves now. No, four leaves. Um, so that should come on really well soon. And the bank's looking great. And the jester rose is just flowering now. That one comes out in all different colours. Very, very pretty. It's very full. And I've also got the iceberg rose. You know, these roses are doing remarkably well considering I've really neglected them this year. I got a little bit of black spot on that one, but other than that, they're they're doing all right actually. So I think it's because we've had fairly dry dry weather. This is the peonies, they're coming up. I've got tons of Granny's Bonnet coming and peony there. The Wygella's looking nice, beautiful. Love that bush. Oh, something's got down on the, fallen down there. So I thought I'd show you the new area. It's really coming on. So here's the um, the bank. And I don't know if you remember, this used to be under trees. You know, we had a hundred trees in behind this bank. And, um, you know, there was stuff in this bank that preferred uh, shade. But I have to say, it's I haven't lost anything as yet. And I've got things that are thriving better. Um, so obviously it wasn't getting enough light before, but you can see I've got tons of dahlias coming up, um, which is great. I mean, we did put a few in in the back there as well, but look how full and healthy it's starting to look. So it obviously wasn't getting enough sun before, 
and now it is it's it's looking great um, I'm really really happy with it so I think it's you know really taken in coming off and coming into its own this year so I'm very happy and beautiful red fountain I love that plant <laughs> it's huge really big you know I, I suspected that this would suffer because this is um, quite a shade loving plant and um, no it seems to be coping really well with it there so I mean it doesn't get sun until late afternoon um, it will get more sun as the sun goes higher in the sky in the summer but it seems to be okay the one behind um, that suffered a little bit if you can see can you see it's got quite yellow leaves but I see the new leaves that are coming are coping with it coping with the sun so maybe it just you know adjusts itself to um, to cope wherever you put it so that's good so I'm just going to go around um, and show you the new area I'm really really pleased with the new area we've had to deal with a lot of weeds because you know it's been exposed to the light now and it get it's going to get weedy um, but we have mulched it as much as we can but I don't know if you can see, but everything is growing beautifully. I mean, we haven't had one loss, um, whereas you normally do. Um, but yeah, it's going to come away and it's going to look really good. I'm really, really pleased with it. I mean, look, the hebes are doing beautiful. Even the, you know, the... Um, the rhododendrons and the camellias that were in here I thought oh they might not like it out in the sun here but they seem to be coping and adjusting quite well so yeah I'm really really happy all the grasses I mean they'll come on soon enough is a massive area and it's, you know, oh, well over a thousand plants in here. Um, John and I worked really hard getting them all in and getting it all done over several weeks. And it's just a case of keeping it weeded and looking after it now. And uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted. These are very nice. These are golf ball pittosporum. So they won't get too big. They should just grow into big round bushes. But they're, they're looking super healthy and growing fantastic. This is uh, cabbage trees here, or palms, so they'll grow up into tall palms. And they'll look good. So yeah, it's looking great. I mean, look at these grasses. They've really taken off. They're looking really, really good really placed and some more um, cabbage trees there five of them when they grow up and they get tall if I'm still here because <laughs> we're still for sale um, then I'll underplant with something and some more I did put a lot of natives in here because we haven't got irrigation in this area um, I can overhead irrigate but for now um, sorry, the sun's probably on. Um, just doing irrigating as as and when required. So this area is starting to come into its own as well because it's been exposed to more light. Um, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. I'm really, really pleased with how it's coming on. I mean, it's actually starting to look quite full planted now and because um, there's a lot of plants in here. And, yeah, very very pleased all my efforts are paying off and you can see the bank the bank is starting remember I planted up the back of the bank last year you can see all the plants are starting to take off some of them have got a bit of damage I think it's where I've been spraying the weeds and I've accidentally sprayed them but um, overall it's looking really good That's azalea I really like this um, poppy, yellow poppy, even the ferns are, are doing all right, you know I thought they would suffer, you can see that one's burnt a little bit back there, the tree fern, but I thought they'd really suffer being in here because it 
been expo exposed to a lot more light since we had the the pines removed down there. You see the grass is growing, it's really good. Um, but no, it seems to be coping quite well. So, um, you know, that's really good because I was a bit concerned. Um, we did have a, a tree, um, a big branch come down out there and knock this pedosporum out. But you can see we didn't cut it out, we just left it and it is shooting again. So that's good. Road over there coming. This is the still got the little woodland walk area, <laughs> just this little bit here, which I really like. And um, yeah, so uh, just the garden's looking great. Coming through, and all the sun coming through. Really lovely. Everything's heavy with the rain. This is looking lovely too. Really like that bush. And the hostas are all coming up. The trilliums have been and gone, or they're, they're still there, but they've, they've flowered now. And now all the hostas are coming. And the aquilegia. And this beautiful rhodo, gorgeous. This is looking like a jungle behind here now. Probably going to have to do some trimming at some point. This azalea. One of my favourite azaleas, that one with the two-tone pink. And see how this is growing out here, look. Getting narrow. Right, so I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, I won't go around the back. And, you know, uh, I'll keep you guys informed what's happening with the house. Hopefully, we'll sell it soon. And, um, like I say, I'll do a little video when these trees, this big one in the front here is going. My husband's got to remove the holes and move stuff out the way. And, um, yeah, and the three behind it. So I'll be really pleased to see the back of those. So anyway, thanks. Oh, just, sorry, one other. I must show you this rhododendron stroke azalea. The colours are fantastic. Just make sure I'm not standing on any plants. Look at that beautiful, beautiful orange. And the contrast with the... It there so thanks very much for watching please like or dislike and subscribe and i'll catch you later bye